probably not going to be like a Saturday afternoon. But yeah, it's a good amount of people again. Um, just family and friends, and so blessed to have such a good supporting cast back here. So it'll be a fun game. Uh, what happened in practice yesterday? Now? Uh, just unlucky. It's always something it feels like. So I'll be okay. Just caught a puck up here, but nothing, nothing to worry about. You know, settling in the Flames organization, what have you been able to maybe evolve into over the last year or so, getting you know better opportunities? Yeah, I mean, it's just to me, it's just been like a immediate day-to-day -day approach. Like what's important now, and just trying to um, you know be in the moment and be. Focused on that day, not trying to have a too big of a grand scheme picture, just um, trying to get better every day and earn trust and earn teammates respect and just kind of try to build on it. It's a real veteran D4 here, and you're playing with a veteran. First of all, what's it like playing with a guy like Tanev who's been in this league for you know a decade? Yeah, I mean, I've um, I've sung his praises a lot. Like He's such a good player, and um, he makes it so easy in whoever he's playing with, and the whole D4 is a... As a group of seven right now, like we're all really tight. Um, we all each other's backs. We all care about each other. And this, like I like you said, there's a lot of guys that have a lot of um, games played and experience and playoff stuff. And so it's it's uh, it's a wealth of knowledge for me to, to lean, lean on and talk to them about stuff. And uh, definitely like a great situation. What's the biggest focus in your game right now for you? I think just continue to build from my end out. So be. Reliable when I'm on the ice, be good defensively, um, be physical, obviously, and try to impose your will in, in different parts of the game. Like, you can't run around and, and chase after that stuff. Sometimes you got to kind of let it come to you because then if you're chasing after it or forcing it, like you're putting yourself out of position and it's not really what you want to do. So, when it's there, obviously, take advantage of it and try to be physical and be a presence. But at the same time, like, just your end out, like, you can make plays in the offensive zone, but you got to make sure that you're buttoned up in your in your defensive zone and in transition before you even think about that stuff for me. What's it meant to What's it meant to, to maybe establish a bit of a rhythm here early in the season and to, you know, all those things that you just talked about earlier, I'd imagine a lot made a lot easier when you can, you know, get in every night and making sure that you kind of have that opportunity to get into that rhythm. Yeah, I mean it, it's it's good obviously the more, like the more consistently you play, obviously the more comfortable you feel and you can get acclimated with the speed and if it starts to kind of really slow down for you. Um, so that's that's obviously a, a, a nice thing, but also like we said earlier, um, such a veteran decor and, and such a good group of guys that have a wealth of knowledge and experience. So it makes it really easy to, to step in because you know what you're getting from everybody every night. Obviously this isn't your first homecoming, but when you're battling for this spot in training camp, did you have this date circled on your calendar? I mean, I would be lying if I said I wasn't hoping I'd be in the lineup for the game. Um, but like I said, I just try to keep it day to day and just try to get better. And I had a little injury during training camp too, so that hiccup was unfortunate. But the training staff was great, and I was able to come back really quickly and um, kind of get back on the ice with the guys and and get rolling. So um, I'm obviously happy I've gotten the opportunity to play some games as of late, and uh, just trying to be consistent and keep it going. When you were here in the summer, 11-day power play. I mean, how much did the goal come up? Um, I mean. From my friends and like family, not a lot, but from everybody else, quite a bit. Um, they like to give me a hard time more than sing my praises, I guess. Uh, but yeah, I mean, that was such a cool event, like something that it was my first year, like I've played in it for years now, but my first year um, really taking like a leadership role with it and running a big group of guys and raising a lot of money. And we raised over $50,000. And uh, I mean, I'm so, so proud of that and so proud of my friends and family for contributing. and and what we were able to do and really make a big difference in the community. So something we'll definitely, I'll definitely keep keep doing going forward. And it's kind of like a new tradition amongst uh, my friends and I. So we're excited about it. Did you remind people when they were talking about the hey, that was a game winner too? Yeah, I mean, it all comes out in the wash. It was 7-2. So I don't I don't think it was a difference maker. It was definitely cool though. Like I said after the game, um, as cool as that day was for me, like for my parents, my grandmother, my siblings, um, my aunts and uncles, cousins, for them to see that like they've come and seen me play in Amherst at the Northtown Center or whatever they're calling it now like growing up and playing for St. Joe's and come to Notre Dame and see me play in college and uh, travel to Chicago or the American League games like they've been supportive the entire time so as cool as last year was for me um, it was kind of like my way of thanking them for always supporting me and a nice 20-minute drive instead of crossing the country was probably a little easier too.